everybody, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do my Friday reads. Um, I wanted also to say thank you to everybody for the well wishes for my husband. He's feeling much better now. Um, we still don't know exactly what it is, but he's on his prescription and it's helping. So he probably does have gastritis. Um, and I wanted to, I had completely forgotten to say this before, but I had wanted to do Tom Topple and the Readorama Readathon. I just couldn't do them because it's bad timing for me. Um, my daughter is graduating grade 8 next week. So we've been getting that ready. Her dress, I have to do the rhinestones tonight and tomorrow so that they set in time on her dress. And we've been getting her shoes and booking appointments for hair and nails and, you know, all that fun stuff. So I haven't been reading much this week. Um, I've actually only been reading one book and I'm still not even done it. And that is what I'm going to be continuing on this weekend. And that's The Bone Woman by Clea Koff. And it's a nonfiction book about a forensic anthropologist who goes and digs up these mass graves from Rwanda, Bosnia, Croatia, and Kosovo. And it's dry, and no pun intended, um, it's still fascinating and heart-wrenching of what these people have gone through. So because of this, I need something light and funny afterwards to kind of clean the palette. Because I also made the mistake of going to look at pictures of some of these um, graves on the internet. And it, you know, it, it really kind of puts things in perspective. So I'm going to be picking up One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich, and it's the Stephanie Plum series. It's the first book, and it's pretty much all I know. So uh, what's everybody else going to be doing on the weekend? Um, I know I'm going to be a little bit busy, but I also have to put stuff up in my Etsy store. Um, there's one thing. So let me know what you guys are going to be reading for the weekend, and I hope everybody has an awesome, awesome weekend. I'll see you later.